Track Ops. I am your host today. I am Chuck Cox. And today we're going to be going over multi factor authentication or MFA. Sometimes referred to as two factor authentication, this enhanced security feature requires that a user have a hardware based authentication device, uh, such as a phone, iPhone, Android, something of that nature in addition to your standard username and password to access the system. So the additional security measure ensures that an unauthorized, unauthorized user cannot log into your account without access to your device or your phone, even if they have the username and password. So really for maximum security, this is something that we highly suggest that you enable when possible. So let's go ahead and make sure that MFA is actually enabled for our system. So we'll go to settings and then we'll go to user security settings and we see that enable multi-factor authentication is yes enabled. So one note here is that enabling the MFA um, does not force each of your users to utilize the feature. Uh, so once you enable it here, you're going to want to advise your employees, staff members, as well as your clients to set up the MFA should you want them to do so. So let's go ahead and we'll set the MFA up for myself. So go to your staff list and select your name. This is me. And we can see that my MFA security is disabled. So one thing to note that with TrackOps, to enable the MFA for each user, that user will need to have a MFA authentic authentication application on their device, their iPhone or their Android or, or something of that nature. So we recommend that you use Google Authenticator. It's a free app. Uh, it's really easy to use. Um, so you'll want to download Google Authenticator and be ready to use it when you click Enable. So from the staff member's profile, click enable next to MFA security and it's going to bring you to the screen with a QR code as well as a uh, several digit long um, secret token uh, this is your MFA token so what you can do is you can pull up your phone pull up the Google Authenticator or whatever MFA authentication application that you're using on your phone and do either want to A, take a picture of the QR code here, or manually enter in the MFA token here. And what that will do is that the Google Authenticator or MFA application will then recognize that QR code, recognize that MFA token, and then spit back a six digit code, which then you'll want to enter here. Once you en enter in the six digit code, then click Save MFA Token, and now multi-factor authentication will be enabled for that user. So every time that user signs on, they'll be prompted to authenticate a six-digit code via their phone or device. Thanks again for using TrackOps.